So I'm in King's Landing, Croatia. On the coastline of the Adriatic Sea, neighboring Italy is Croatia. The capital is Zagreb, but we'll be going to the coastal cities of Split and trending Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik has massive 16th century walls encircling an old town. Game of Thrones fans will know this place as King's Landing. At around 1 euro, Dubrovnik probably has Europe's most expensive public toilets. It's currently a tourist hotbed with people traffic overpopulating the Gothic buildings. Walking shoes and Insta cameras are a must because every scene will make the cut. I also noticed a healthy cat population in Croatia, only to be outdone by tourists. Walking the walls of Westeros will cost you around 90 kunas, which is around 10 to 12 euros. When you get up there, the view is priceless. Well, technically 10 euros. FYI, the city walls run uninterrupted for 2k and the views make it go unnoticed. And all the shit found its way to the sea. We travel from Dubrovnik to Split. That's marine for you Game of Thrones fans. In Croatia, the olive oil is exceptional. My personal favorite was this potato pastry called Pita Cumprea. Split was once a 4th century Roman emperor's palace. The seafood was so fresh here and the produce was organic, so I decided to make Nepali food using the best of Croatia. We will be making aludam, egg curry and prawn curry. The base and the technique will be similar for all. Chopped garlic, Croatian olive oil, saute them together. I'm using this Croatian pepper powder. It gives a beautiful color to the dish as well. Salt to taste. And then we're adding this boiled potatoes with the skin. That will give an extra flavor to the dish. Add some more of olive oil and it's ready. Another pan ready for egg curry. So I put some olive oil in there and boiled eggs, stir them. The final touch for a potato is lemon. So I'm just doing that, a bit of touch up. Put some onion in egg curry. Some chopped garlic there as well and stir them for a while. Then I'm taking some chopped cherry tomatoes. These are fresh tomatoes which I got in the morning from the market. They are very juicy. This is Croatian chili. So it's like chili pickle. It's like a chili pickle they put in a pot. I got it fresh from the market yesterday. So what I'm gonna do is the Nepalese style um, egg curry, but I'm gonna put that chili on it just to give that um, Croatian kind of feel. Um, it might be slightly spicy just, so I'm just going to start up, start up with uh, one teaspoon chilies in it. Smells so good. And um, by the way, I'm using um, um, Croatian olive oil. They're really famous for their olive oil. So I'm putting all of these eggs in there again. And then stir it lightly because I don't want this yolk to come up. The main dish, prawn curry. So these are the king prawns I got it from the market this morning. And yes, vegetarians look away because I'm deveining the prawn. So deveining means taking out the intestine from the prawn. So technically that's how it looks. Oh my god. So there is olive oil on the pan and I'm going to put um, the cream king prawns in there. Fatty them a bit. Um, so these are very nice and soft, obviously it's not going to take a lot of time sort of um, it to cook. And I'm putting the same red pepper powder on top, so stir them together. 
first thing it's gonna give a bit of spice flavor to the prawn and secondly it gives the color as well so I'm adding some chopped onions actually sliced onions mix them all together some more olive oil oh my god it smells so good I'm adding some chopped garlic so the garlic and prawn they go hand in hand enhance the flavor of the prawn some tomatoes to give that curry kind of texture mix them all together and lemon so lemon makes the prawn taste nice mix them all together that's the final look Nicely plated food, Croatian wine, and the Croatian sunshine. What else do you need? Ready for lunch? So this is my Nepalese slash Croatian fusion food. 